Looking at it from a historical perspective, the new XC60 is not so far away from the vision the founders of Volvo had already in 1927, that cars are driven by people and must therefore be safe. Since then, we have acquired a lot of knowledge about people and about cars, and how to make them function safely together. One thing is to calculate a car's performance in an accident in a crash laboratory like this. Another thing is to find out how it behaves in a real-life situation. The Volvo Traffic Accident Research Team has gathered real-life data for more than 35 years and has almost 40,000 car accidents where a Volvo has been involved on their files. These data from real life have been of an enormous help in our efforts to design an even safer Volvo each time. And the XC60 is the safest Volvo so far. For many years, Volvo has operated from a holistic viewpoint, where real-world crash data is incorporated into a specification which sorts out the safety requirements to be put into a modern car to make it safe. These requirements are incorporated during product development into our prototypes and are thoroughly checked before they go into a production car. If you look over time, you can say that Volvo's efforts to make safe cars have paid off. But we do not rest on our laurels. We have a vision that no one should die or be severely injured in a Volvo. And in the future, we want to design cars that do not crash. Volvo has succeeded in decreasing the injury rate from about 10% in the 60s and 70s to a rate of less than 4% today. But with a target of zero injuries from traffic accidents in the future, the job is not yet done. In our holistic approach to make cars and traffic safer, Volvo works along a strategy that defines the cause of the incident and the safety solutions in each stage, before, during, and after an accident. Volvo has defined post-crash, crash, avoidance, mitigation, conflict, and non-conflict as the main areas to be targeted. The non-conflict phase is about the state of the driver, whether he or she is tired, under stress, or even drunk, and about devices that can help you as a driver avoid getting into critical situations. For example, to prevent people from driving under the influence of alcohol, Volvo has developed the AlcoGuard, a device that will not allow the car to be started if the go-ahead signal is not activated. Conflict is about situations a driver can encounter and has its focus on how we can equip the vehicle with devices that help the driver to remain on the road or be warned about an upcoming critical situation. The lane departure warning alerts you if you accidentally change lanes. The function warns the driver if the car crosses the central or the side lines of the road without the indicator being used. The phase we call avoidance and mitigation deals with the accidents that are about to happen. The car in front of you may now be so close that severe braking is essential. Some of Volvo's preventive safety functions can now step in and respond if the driver can no longer avoid the collision on his or her own. However, the new preventive safety technologies do not relieve the driver from the responsibility of driving safely. The city safety that is standard on all XC60 is a feature that helps the driver to avoid or mitigate an accident. The city safety uses infrared laser-based technology to detect a vehicle in front of you and brake automatically just before a collision. 
the function avoids collisions up to 15 km per hour and reduces the severity if you run into a car in front of you at up to 30 km per hour. 75% of all rear-end collisions happen at speeds below 30 km per hour. Well, sooner or later, there will be a crash, a situation the driver and the car are unable to avoid. What we can do is to prepare the driver and the car for the collision and reduce the severity. There are several technical solutions that undertake to reduce the effects of a crash. The three-point safety belt, a Volvo invention, is still the most important, together with the well-known crumple zones, airbags, side impact protection system, and the latest technologies have also given us collision warning with auto brake and pre-prepared restraint systems. Volvo has many years of experience in examining and following up actual accidents involving Volvo cars. In order to extend the analysis to the chain of events, occurring moments before the collision, Volvo Car supplements its own statistics with external detailed studies and reconstructions of chains of events. It's on this philosophy we built our research and all our efforts to create an even safer car for each new model we put on the market. In the case of the XC60, you could say that we gathered all our accumulated knowledge into one new product and probably created the safest car in the world and for sure, the safest Volvo ever.